This video reviews how to find the first two, the first four terms of two different sequences. The first sequence is given by 5n plus 2. Now, to find the first four terms, we do the following thing. We have to substitute in four values. The first term is when n equals 1. The second term, when n equals 2. The third term, when n equals 3. And the fourth term is when n equals 4. So, the formula is 5n plus 2. When n is 1, we have to work out what 5 times 1 is, and then add 2. Well, 5 times 1 is 5. 5 plus 2 equals 7. The second term, n is 2. So we now do 5 times 2 and add 2. Well, 5 times 2 is 10. Add 2 equals 12. The third term, 5 times 3 and add 2, which is 15. Add 2, which equals 17. And the fourth term is now 5 times 4, which is 20. Add 2, we get 22. So the sequence given by 5n plus 2 is 7, 12, 17, 22. And this goes on and on and on forever and ever. A quick observation about this sequence. The difference between each of the terms is 5. And this first difference is the same as the number or the coefficient next to the n. And that's always the case. And another observation, 5 plus 2 also gives the first term, which in this case is 7. OK, so the second sequence is now quadratic. And again, we want to find the first four terms. So as before, we have to substitute in four values. n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, and n equals 4. Now, on this sequence, we've got to be a bit more careful because there's a squared there. And we've got to use bid mass really, really carefully. And this is where people often make an error. So the first term, n is 1. We have to do 3 lots of 1 squared plus 2 lots of 1 add 1. Now, the key point here is we always do the powers first. So don't do 3 times 1, then square it. We do the 1 squared first. So 1 squared equals 1. So it becomes 3 times 1 plus 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. Well, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So the first term is 6. We'll do the next three terms. So for the second term, n is 2. So we do 3 times 2 squared plus 2 lots of 2 add 1. Again, power first. 2 squared is 4. So it's 3 times 4 plus 2 times 2, which is 4 plus 1. Well, 3 times 4 is 12. Add 4 is 16. Add 1 equals 17. Third term, we get the idea now. We do 3 times 3 squared plus 2 times 3. Add 1. Again, power first. 3 squared is 9. So it's 3 times 9. 2 times 3 is 6. Add 1. 3 9s are 27. Add 6 are 33. Add 1 equals 34. And then to finish off, when n is 4 for the fourth term, we do 3 times 4 squared plus 2 times 4 plus 1. So 4 squared is 16. So it's 3 lots of 16. 2 times 4 is 8. Add 1. So this becomes 48 plus 8 is 56. Add 1 equals 57. So the first four terms in the sequence are given by 6, then 17, then 34, followed by 57. And just a quick observation. The first difference here from 6 to 17 is 11. The next difference is then 17. The next difference is 23. That's called the first difference. If we then do the difference of the differences, 11 to 17 is 6, 17 to 23 is also 6. 
And when you've got what's called a quadratic or n squared sequence, the second difference is always the same. And as we explore in my second video, the second difference, in this case 6, is always twice the number of n squareds. There's a 3 here, and 2 times 3 is 6. And that's explored in my other video on quadratic sequences.